Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a what's in my travel makeup bag uh, and this is going to be work trip edition. Uh, so these are the products that I'm taking with me on my trip next week. Well I leave tomorrow. Uh, so I leave tomorrow which is Sunday and I will be there until my flight gets home bright and early at like 4 a.m. on Friday morning. Uh, so I'm bringing not a ton of stuff normally when I travel more so for fun, I bring a little bit more makeup, but I'm going to keep things pretty basic uh, and simple for this trip. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So first off, this bag. I love this bag. I got this. It's actually one of those Ulta um, beauty bag things. Like If you spend $60 or more, you get um, a bag with samples in it. And this is one of those bags. I actually really, really like this bag. It's a pretty bronze sort of holographic bag, but the perfect size uh, for travel. So let's start with primers. I'm actually bringing three. <laughs> I know, I just said it was gonna be simple and easy. Um, but the first two is a combination that I'm obsessed with and that I use almost on a daily basis, but I have the cute little mini sizes. So this is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment, as well as the uh, Benefit Pore Professional pore balm to minimize the appearance of pores. Yeah, Loki's hanging out with us today. Um, I was just in my room and he was there and then I came out here to film and he just followed me right out. He's just the best. Um, but this combination I love. I use this all over my face and I use this in just um, some spots on my face where I have larger pores uh, to help fill those in because this is not very pore filling. Love this combination. I have also been curious about the, this is a little tangent, the um, Burberry Fresh Fluid Foundation Base. Um, and uh, now that we're going to the more winter months, I wanted something a little bit to brighten up my skin. However, I read that someone compared it to this little guy, and I actually already have a sample of it. And that's the Cover FX Illuminating Pr uh, Primer, or the Illuminating Primer Base. Uh, so I actually just swatched it on the back of my hand. You're not going to be able to tell. Um, but it did give a nice glowy look to uh, the part of my hand that I put it on. So I'm intrigued by this, and I might be using this combination uh, as well next week. Let's see. The foundation that I'm bringing, I'm just bringing one, <laughs> um, is the Lancome Tinted Ultra Makeup Stick. It has sunscreen SPF of 21, and this is in the shade 90 Ivory Neutral. Uh, this is a really great shade match for me, especially now that we're going into the uh, uh, cooler months of the year and my skin is a little bit fairer. Um, not by much. I remain pretty fair throughout most of the year. Um, but this, I love this foundation stick. I've used it a ton and this is all the way down. Uh, so I, st or all the way, it, I haven't used that much. I've used it a lot is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I still have this much product left. I'm sure that will last me, uh, the few days that I'm out of town. Uh, but love this foundation stick and love bringing products like this uh, with me on travel instead of liquid. So easy to blend out with my Real Technique sponge, which is the product I'm bringing with me. For concealer, I'm going to be bringing this little guy, the uh, Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade 10 Porcelain. Love this guy. I wouldn't call it super full coverage. It's not tart shape tape full coverage. Um, but it is a great color match for me for under my eyes, uh, as well as with this foundation. Um, I would prefer to bring my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, um, but the package is broke. <laughs> or the package is, the packaging, the packaging is broken. The pack whatever, you know what I'm saying. The, like this part just kind of snapped off, so I have to keep it upright or it leaks everywhere. So we don't want that in a travel bag. Uh, so this is the product I am bringing. Still love this concealer a ton. Let's see, for eye primer, I'm bringing this little guy. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Trying to use this guy up, and I am almost out. Um, a really solid primer. A little bit more tacky um, than I prefer in a primer. Um, but if you set it down with a translucent, not a translucent, <laughs> um, a uh, cream-colored eyeshadow, it blends, everything blends perfectly on top of it. So that is the primer I am bringing. I am also going to be bringing this lip balm, and that is the GlossierBirthdayBalm.com. Love this stuff. Definitely going to be picking up a couple more of the other scents or flavors of this um, lip balm or universal skin balm, um, but love this stuff. I'm currently wearing it. It's um, a translucent or clear color, but it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but definitely great for hydrating the lips. Two palettes I am bringing are both from Too Faced. Uh, one of which is the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. 
uh, love this woo, palette, specifically for travel, specifically for work, um, because it's very basic uh, shades, very basic colors, um, but still professional and um, uh, beautiful at the same time. Uh, so my favorites in this palette are probably Push Up, uh, but I also love Honey Pot. Uh, and I really just am excited to use this palette. It's definitely one of my all-time favorites from Too Faced, though the Natural Matte palette is stunning. However, I'm already bringing an all-matte palette, uh, which is the Too Faced Chocolate Chip Palette, the mini version of the Chocolate Bar and all-matte. I have never used this before. I just picked it up during the VIB sale. It smells like chocolate. Uh, and I'm very excited to wear this as, as, wear this as well. Hopefully it's as beautiful as I uh, as it's swatched in store. This color specifically, this light brown in, uh, up here, I swatched in store and I also swatched it in my palette. It is insanely buttery and soft for a matte. So I'm very excited to play with that guy next week as well. All right, four eye bases on top of my primer. I guess I should have done that before the actual shadows. That is not it. This is. <laughs> I'm bringing two. I'm bringing a more bronzy uh, shade. It's not super pigmented, but really helps shadows stick on top of it. And that is my Be A Bombshell Cosmetic Eye Base in Submissive. Um, I have had this for years, uh, and it hasn't gone bad. It's still, like, it doesn't smell. I still use it on a regular basis. As you can see, I've hit pan on it, uh, and it is one of my all-time favorite eye bases. And for the more golden shades, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Caviar Shadow Stick in the shade Copper. Uh, and that is what this guy looks like. Very uh, pretty, very pigmented, very easy to blend with my fingers. Really do love that product. All right. Oh, to set my foundation, I'm really going out of order now. Uh, the, I'm bringing the little uh, travel size of my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm not going to open it because I think it's everywhere at the moment. Um, but I am obsessed with this. It's my all-time favorite Holy Grail translucent setting powder. Um, I do apply it with my uh, damp sponge towards the pr uh, majority of my face and with a brush under my eyes to set my concealer. Love this guy. Uh, I did pick up the full size after getting this uh, in a uh, sample kit from Sephora, the Sephora favorite sets last year, uh, and it really just is my holy grail. For bronzer, blush, and highlight, I'm bringing one of each, and they're all little baby sample sizes. Uh, I am bringing uh, for blush the Tarte Party, P-A-A-A-R-T-Y, uh, blush. This was in the, oh geez, this was in the Sephora makeup birthday gift. You had an option between skincare and makeup, and I went with the makeup set. Uh, and this is the Tarte Blush in Party. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, very neutral. Very um, classic looking. Um, so love this blush. For highlight, I'm bringing my little baby Becca Moonstone. Uh, really great for this time of year. Again, uh, goes with my fair complexion very nicely. And I love this a teeny tiny little mini. And for bronzer, I'm bringing another little mini of uh, another favorite product of mine, my Hoola Bronzer. I'm really hoping <laughs> that my massive um, bronzer brush will fit into this box uh, easily, uh, doably. So we shall see about that, but I'm sure I'll be able to make it work. I really don't want to bring the full size. <laughs> For, oh geez, I'm really out of order, eyeliner. Um, I don't use this as like a wing. I have no skill when it comes to winged liner, but I do use uh, this to just... Uh, go along my upper lash line, and that is the Maybelline Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Liner in uh, brownish black. Um, I just like that it has this felt tip. It's super easy to just line my, uh, my upper lash line um, before I apply mascara, and it just adds a little bit more oomph to my eye look. Speaking of mascara, I'm bringing a little baby size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Love this stuff. Again, this is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I recently finished up a full size of it, uh, and I'm trying to go through some other full size products that I have before buying a new one, but this is definitely my all-time favorite. And now for brows. I think we're good now. Uh, so for brows, I am bringing two products. I am bringing my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. Love this stuff, has the product on one end and the spoolie on the other. You guys have all seen this by now, I'm sure. Um, really do love this product and really love the color match for my brows. 
and this is the Glossier Boy Brow in Brown, just to uh, keep everything in, uh, in the order and in line in my brows, and just adds a little bit more coverage as well. So those are the products that I'm bringing with me while I travel next week for work. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the products I mentioned, please let me know down below. I love filming these videos and I love watching these videos as well. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. But if you have any questions, let me know down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.